Hi, I'm Tommy from Carrera Casting. In today's best practices, we're featuring machine maintenance and getting the most out of your 3D printers. In today's episode, we'll be covering post-build inspection of your 3D printer. The build is done. So now we have to take the plate out and bring it to the back in order to be clean. But before we do that, you have to do a post-build inspection to make sure that everything went right during the build. First thing we do is we go to our monitor and we press the finalize button. That sets the computer in the machine to open the top and lift the plate uh, so we can get to it. For video purposes, we've taken away the lid support so we can open it more so you can get a better view. So this is just going to lay back here like this. Now most of the time everybody just takes the plate out. You should not do that. In the very beginning you should do a, just a general visual inspection to see if anything has gone wrong. Some of the things that can go wrong are that the jets have spit. When I mean spit, if you've ever used a can of paint, uh, spray paint, and the nozzle has gotten clogged, you notice little bits just spitting all over this place, spraying all over the place. That is the same thing that can happen with these jets. And you will notice it first on your plate, or maybe even around the plate, and on your paper right here. If you notice this, then you will know that later on you're going to have to do a general cleaning of your jets and have them recalibrated and check to make sure that they work for the next build. So first thing we do, we just take a good look here and we see that the plate is nice and clean. The build is nice and clean. We don't see any off, build, uh, off plate marks here. That usually happens in the Z-Works. So this is ready to go. But before I take it out, I check my belts, make sure there's no material on them, that everything is nice and clean, that the tracks are nice and clean. So generally speaking, we are ready to go here. You push back the latches and at this point I'm going to take the plate out, hand it off to Paulina, and Paulina's going to go in the back, remove the parts from the plate, and get them clean. Thank you. The other thing you should be checking is your tape. And these trays collect material as needed if you need to purge them, or during the build, if the computer needs to purge these jets, because it's noticed in its calibration that it's off you'll get more material. This happens to be a very light. If you see that it's more than halfway, you should change these. And as you can see, this one will also be changed. Why? Because of the heat of the machine, you see that it's beginning to warp. Also, you understandably, when the material comes out, it's very hot. So this will be changed before the next build. Put it back. I'll just put it down for here. The other part is the back tray. As they do the purge, it shoots it up again so it doesn't go all over the place. This is okay. There's not too much there. So this is going well. Another very important thing is your tape. If your tape is not aligned correctly, or if the tension bar, which is right here, it looks like a little bent piece of metal right at this spot right here. If that's loose, this tape will not function properly. There needs to be tension there. If you see this tape has a little rise on it, like a little wave, that's no good. This is the spot that you have to check, right here where this little tension bar is. This is lying nice and flat. That's the way it should be. You also should check. I'm going to move this a little bit. Right here to make sure that you have enough material, that the thing is locked good, and that it's going underneath and coming out without any bunching up. When this bunches up, it will stop your build. There's nothing wrong with the machine per se. The jets are working, everything is working. It's just because this bunched up and the sensors don't monitor it, you're dead in the water, it will shut down the machine. So it's very important that you check that. If something has gone wrong during the build, you should see why. A, was there enough paper tape? Did you run out? B, and most important, is that tension bar sitting there correctly? Let me just cover everything we just spoke about. Generally, you look at everything before you remove the plate. Obviously, you push the finalize button on your screen. You check if they're spitting or anything wrong with the jets. You check your belts to see if there's any fraying or material on them. You check your rails to make sure 
that they're also clean. Check your paper, very important. Hope you enjoyed this segment and stay with us. There are more best practice videos in CAD and 3D printing for jewelry manufacturing to come.